What's going on guys, Draskass here. Today we're going to be learning how to have our controller show on stream. So first off, you want to head over to GamePadViewer.com. Make sure you have your controller plugged into your computer. It runs a lot better if you actually have a wire instead of having a Bluetooth, just so you guys are aware. But once you get to this place, it's basically going to look like a big open empty area and there. It says no gamepad available. Make sure you just click in any button and then it's going to automatically start loading stuff. So in this currently viewing where it says none, you want to click on player one. Now we have a whole controller and everything. So technically, if you want to sit here and customize it to have like a different layout, for example, you can have white, you could do like the 360, PlayStation, GameCube, you can have whatever controller you want. We're just going to keep it the default Xbox. Now, if you click on the little three lines up the top here, click on generate URL. This is going to be what we need to paste into OBS. So this is where basically you can customize everything you want. You can have your strength meter. It's like two rings around the joysticks. That way you can show how much force you're actually pushing on there. Stick curving just to show it a little bit more accurate. I keep everything default since it doesn't necessarily matter. All you have to do is click on this little button up here. It's going to automatically copy the link. Now we need to head over to OBS. All right, so now we're in OBS. Come over here and add a browser source. You can name it whatever you want. So once you add it in here, you want to paste in the code that we had just gotten. Now, typically, if you're doing a 1080 stream, you want to have all of your sources like that. So we're going to do 1080 for that and use a custom frame rate and have 60 frames. Click on OK. This is not going to cause it to lag any. Now it is going to show disconnected. You might be freaking out thinking that you have to have the website open the whole time. This is actually going to work just like stream elements to where you don't have to do that. But every single time that you log in, you just need to click one button on your controller. And it's going to automatically get the data. Now then, if you want to customize a little bit more, we're going to click and drag this little box down here. That way you can customize it. I like to have it lined up with like the bottom right hand corner of the screen here. And in my opinion, it looks a little bit better when we lower the opacity. So we're going to add in a color correction filter. So let's click OK. Now where it says opacity, we want to sit here and take this down to 0.58. I like it this way. That way you can actually see everything going on inside the game behind it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on a game background real quick. So now that we're inside the game, obviously everything looks pretty nice. I do really like the transparent background here. So hold on. So we're going to go to load in here just that way we can see everything. So let's just collect both of these guys and boom, go ahead and start it up. All right. Well, now that you guys know what the control looks like on the screen, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. If this tutorial helped you guys out, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see part two when I add in a keyboard layout for the stream as well.